Mo here, Resale Niche, and I have a vintage semi-clothing uh, haul. Actually, it's mostly clothing. I should say semi-vintage haul. So I thought I wanted to show it to you before I actually got it listed, even though I started listing some of it. So some of the tags are pulled, but let's get into it. Some of these things, I wasn't sure what they were worth, but I have left some of the tags on here. So you can see this one. This was 50% off. You can see it's $6.98. And it was something called White Stag. You can see that. And it's a windbreaker. Very light. And this thing was, when I was looking at the comps, they're all over the place. There's some like $10 ones and there's some like $150 ones. So I took a chance. I always take a chance with vintage stuff. Okay. And I'm going to put the comps up. Uh, here or there for these because I actually haven't actually looked up a lot of this stuff. This one I pulled the tag of already. Not vintage, but it's your, kind of your inside out rain spooner. And I like this one because it has like all the different logos on there and flags and stuff. July 4th themed. It's a little bit early for that, but you never know. Rain spooner stuff always does well. And this one was $2.99 because it was, uh, I think, put in the wrong place, actually. Usually at my thrift stores, they catch all the rain spooners and they have them for like 30 bucks. So I have to be lucky and get them on like a three quarter, 75% off day. Okay, this one, still have the tags on this one right here. You can see this, 998. And then that was, I believe, 25% off. I don't know if this is vintage or not, or if I just got taken to the ringer here. It has a tag at the bottom here. I thought it looked fake at first, and I, and I wasn't really sure. So, but then when I kept looking, I found this as well. And a lot of the sand knit ones, if that focuses, a lot of the sand knit ones, and this is McGregor, made in USA. And I got two of these actually, Celtics. These are like practice jerseys. Um, at the very least, maybe they're retro repops. I don't think they're fake, but I'm not sure if they're vintage or not. So if anyone is familiar, more familiar with me, because the ones I've seen were actually made by Champion or made by a couple other brands, Starter or some of the other ones. Okay, this one was 75% off. You can see that right the tag. And nothing fancy. It's just a mini... Uh, mini Mickey Mouse plush and I always pick up these ones if they have the tag still on if you can see that um, and it is you can see the back of it too these don't go for crazy amounts of money it probably be like 20 to 30 bucks and it will sit for like three months I'm guessing but I pick those up if I can get them for cheap all right, so this one is not vintage. This is just your run-of-the-mill Nike sweatshirt, but it was discounted. Just a big spell outs always do well for me. And let's see if the price is on there. Yep, yeah, right there. And all of these are discounted. I didn't get these all on the same day. These are actually three different thrift hauls mixed together. I buy nothing for, unless it's going to be worth a ton of money, I try and buy for 50 because my local thrift stores, they're like 25, 50 and 75% off. I try and get for 50 or 75% off if I can't, unless I know it's a crazy value. This is the second one of these Celtics jerseys I said I had. Okay. What else do we have here? This one I have no idea about. This is not vintage. But it's weird, and I like the weird. I like the wonderful. And you can see what I paid for here. Two ninety eight, if you can see that, and it was actually seventy five percent off. It is a vest. I always pick up vests whenever I can. People always overlook them. Um, this is like a suit jacket vest type thing. I pick up the sweater vests as well. Those do well. But I like this one only because two reasons. One, these buttons right here are very cool. They're plastic, not metal. You can hear that's plastic, but still. It's got the inside layer. I don't know why it's flowers. 
But then it has all the superhero guys on the front, all the Marvel superheroes. If I can flip it around and you can see that. And I'm trying to focus here. So for very little, I think I could get 20 bucks out of that. This is the one I was a little bit nervous about. Couldn't tell if this was real or not. See the tags are there. There's a starter. This is a Los Angeles Kings sweatshirt. I got two of these, one extra large, one large. But I'm pretty sure it was real only because it came with the tags. And it has like the mail off tags. You can see those. And it came from a store, obviously, because you can see there it has. Where does it say? I don't know if you can see it. It says $62.50, which is, I guess, was what it was sold for at whatever store it was at. So these were $49.95, 50, 50 percent off. So I paid 25 bucks for this. And I have, have a second one. And I got these last week. And the annoying thing is on the back, they left the see it's the same thing. They left the security tags in. And it scared me because I've been refused. They refused to take them off before. And I know I'm lazy and you can take them off yourself. It's not hard to do, but I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. So I just waited till the next week went back and the guy was really cool and said, okay, whatever, I'll take them off for you. So he took off the security tags for me. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, so this is another one I have no idea about. Someone's... I believe this is five bucks I paid for this one. It's 9.98, 50% off. And it was a company called Weldon. It says Road by Weldon. So look up this if you can see this. Because some of these robes are going for upwards of $100, I believe. $80, $90, $100, maybe even more. Hopefully that focuses. And it's just a bathroom robe nothing fancy no rips or tears or anything very light this is less than a pound but i mean for that price i'll take a risk why not right all right and here's another non-vintage one i just thought it was super cool for any of you doctor who fans out there even though it's christmas themed you can see that right there i don't know if you can see that Nothing fancy, it's a Gildan tag, and it was 50% off, $2.98. But Doctor Who stuff always does well for me. I grew up watching the show in the 80s. And the last ones here, these are the coolest, so don't go away, because there's two different ones. I paid up for these. Let's see here. $14.95. And I believe it was only 25% off, but it was Dunbrook Distinctive Image. It's like a vintage 80, maybe late 90s, early 2000s jacket. That's what I thought. This is what brought me back to it. This little badge right here. Actually, it's pretty big. I should say little. Look up Bob Cole and Williams. Apparently, this is a space flight that was supposed to take place and didn't take place and it's a jacket on here big old jacket thing very thick very heavy it's like a ski jacket it has a hood too All right no i'm not gonna take it out but it's in there i can feel it and along with it there was a second one this one they charge even more for $24.95. I got 25% off that one too. This one is a Hilton jacket. I've never even heard of these brands. I could have been taking cleaners for this. But again, the reason I bought it isn't because it was a ski jacket, because the ski season is pretty much over. If I can actually find the front of this jacket, I have lost the front of the jacket. What's going on?
that took half an hour. This again has another, this again has another tag, a big old patch. It's a Sonine. This one says Crippen Sullivan Lee Les Leistma Ride McBride. Garno Scully Power. I, again, this is this one's Canadian slash US. And it's some kind of space mission that was aborted in the I guess the 90s. The from the little I looked up. So again, I'm gonna try and put up any information up here. All I found was a patch that was sold for 10 bucks. But I figured I could sell that to some, hopefully, to someone that's into space exploration memorabilia. So those are the things that I found. I hope they're cool. I hope they're worth money. I'm putting up the comps after the fact. So hopefully I'm actually putting up that I'm making money and not losing money. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.